Okay, well, here's a video about how I mounted my RLS, my mag poles. And on uh, just about every other rifle I have, um, I went with the MS-1, the quick adjust, more tactical type sling. But on these two rifles, I decided just to keep things a little more basic. Um, so you might think, okay, you know, two-point sling, how hard are these things to put on? Well, they're really not all that hard to put on unless you want certain things to be in a certain orientation and you want your buckles on a certain way. Um, you're probably going to have to try once or twice <laughs> to get it on exactly the way you want it. And uh, that's because the instructions on this, this bag, they, uh, I mean, there's no other way to say it. They, they just suck. And we'll tear into this bag and I'll show you. Okay, so in my opinion, whoever wrote these uh, installation directions and the pictures provided and everything they showed you here, um, I, I don't think they had a full command of the, the English language. Um, I read these things like three or four times, and after a while, I just I kind of gave up on it and uh, ended up watching a couple of the YouTube videos that were helpful. But I just wanted to show you how I mounted mine and how I got all the buckles and everything in the correct orientation and uh, maybe save you some trouble trying to understand these things. Okay, so I mounted mine with the uh, the fixed hardware in the back and the uh, kind of semi-adjustable buckle up here. And I mounted mine with the sewn-in portion on the inside of the loop um, just to kind of reduce any kind of bulk on the inside of the strap. And then uh, got my sliding keeper up here. So let's get this thing flattened out and I'll, I'll show you how I, I mounted mine with, with the orientation that I have. And you may decide to mount yours different. Um, like I was just saying, you may want all this hardware up here. You may want the, the loop portion back here. So there's different ways to mount it. I'm just showing you how I did it. Okay, so this is how both of my straps showed up. Got the loop portion back here. Got our keeper. You can see the orientation that I have it presently. And um, then they also put the, uh, the tri-glide on for you. So first thing we're going to do is take this tri-glide off. Okay, so that's where it was. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this. Now that we have the tri-glide out of the way, we're going to pull this through the... Uh, sliding keeper okay so you're only going to pull one half of the strap out of the keeper so the keeper is going to stay on on the side with your uh, adjustment buckle so the keeper stays there and this is how i oriented the strap through the sling and here's the loose end back here So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and put this back into the keeper. Now the instructions show using a screwdriver. You don't need one. I was able to get this in without a screwdriver and uh, I'll show you how I accomplished that. And it went in like really easy. Okay, so I just started the corner into the keeper and then what I do is um, I'll pinch these together. And then what I'll do is with thumb pressure and pulling on this end here, let me try to get a better shot, um, it'll, it'll pull it in. And then as you get tight, you'll have to tuck that in a little bit. But if you keep putting pressure on it, you'll eventually pull this through. And it's, it's a lot easier than it looks on camera. So let me do this, this off camera. And um, like I said, doing it this way without a screwdriver, it's not a problem at all. Okay, so, so far this is where we're at. And you can see the orientation. Okay, so the next step for me to mount it like the way I'm doing it is, I'm gonna take this, and we're gonna come through the buckle this way. So let me do that. Okay, so. This is what we end up with once we come back through the uh, adjustment buckle. I'm 
I know this is a little bit repetitive, but I'm trying to really drill down to step by step. And I said they're not they're not hard to put on. It's just trying to get all the buckles and everything oriented the way that I wanted them. And it took me a couple tries on the first rifle. Okay, so the tri glide that we took off at the beginning of the video, you can see there's a recess side. And then there's a side that's more flush with the other. And on the Magpul tri-glides, their logo is on the uh, flush side. And the non-logo is on the recess side. So the way we're going to put this on is with the Magpul on the inside. So that's going to go on here like this. Now, after I got this all put together on the first rifle, what I noticed was that this Magpul Tri-Glide didn't quite seem to capture the, the webbing um, to my satisfaction. If you were pulling on it this way, it, it would, you know, self-tighten. and It didn't feel like it was going anywhere. But I noticed if there's any slack at all going that way, um, it, it didn't bite quite as well. And there was a possibility that, you know, this over time could maybe shift. And then this thing comes comes out of the, the tri-glide buckle. So I made an upgrade. I just happened to have a couple of spare uh, leftover inch and a quarter tri-glides. So this one bites really well. And I'm going to put both of them on just like I did on this one. But what you get with your RLS is just one. You don't get two. So I'm going to get both of these on there, and uh, we'll come in through the, the back here, and I'll show you that orientation. Okay, so that's how this one's oriented, and this is how my spare is oriented. And you can see that also the, the center portion of the tri-glide is recessed and going to be facing uh, on the inside towards the rifle. So all we got left to do is come through here. And then come back through the buckle on both of them, and we're done. Okay, finished product. Um, we'll follow it around from here and try to show you the orientation of the tri-glides. So we're coming through here with the tri-glide in this orientation. And the same thing with my spare. And that's coming back around this way. And then... This way through the buckles, same direction through the adjustable. So this part of the loop here, going through the uh, adjuster, and then back around this way. And then we have our bulky part of the sewn in section here. So, maybe more than you guys thought to put one of these on, at least the way I do it. Anyway, hope it's helpful to somebody. Pete in North Las Vegas. Over and out.